What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be doing the brand new boss with all the changes. We're gonna go fight him, we are level 100. We're gonna rock this with Meteor, so we're gonna go through absolutely everything. I'm gonna kind of give you guys some strategy and some tips and just how I kind of navigate all of um, the, the lair and how much warding I'm gonna use and all of that stuff. So first things first is you wanna come to our brand new gate hall. This is where you're gonna go to fight the boss. You're going to come down to the Vault of the Loom, okay? This is where we got to go. It's also going to be indicated, you'll see that the Vault level is level 100. So next, after you get here, what you're going to need is your uh, Igenis cores, okay? You need seven of these to summon the boss, okay? You're going to need seven to fight the boss. So make sure you farm enough of these. Don't go through the dungeon and then get to the end and be like, oh, crap, now I don't have these. So you need seven. Okay, so we're going to go to the gate hall, make sure you have seven, and make sure your build is all decked out. Okay, so let's go into the loom, and let's get this thing rolling. This is going to be fun, guys. We do we didn't put up a video, but we do have the footage from fighting the boss before the update during the story when we were lower level. It was super fun to fight the boss, and I thought it was such an interesting fight. Um, but now we're going to go in here. So when you first get in here, you get the Zoltan's warding right away now before this was going to be a little bit tricky because each pearl was only going to give us 10 char or three charges but now it is worth 10 so i can tell you that from just farming the vaults you get plenty of pearls so what i would tell you to do in this situation just to make sure you don't run out if you really want all of the treasures at the end i would just get enough for this so i'm just going to grab 50 i'm just going to grab 50 We'll get to the end and talk about maybe numbers and you can change this later, but I'm just gonna get 50. That way I have a really nice uh, cushion here. So we're gonna go into the Corrupted Altar. Okay, it's gonna take us seven cores plus 250 Shattered Stones in order to do this. All right, pop the door. Let's get this thing popping. We gotta find a path to the loom, which is to the boss, and we're gonna get this rolling. This should be really, really fun. The boss fight before was super good. Oh, oh, oh. I already think I went the right way. I wanted to check to make sure my music was on. It is. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and go to the gateway. Wait, wait, does that take me back? All right, we're in. All right, so now the traps in here, guys, when you're going through in this brand new one, they are going to hit a little bit harder. I don't even care about those kind of rewards. We're just going to kind of go through and do this. Now, the layouts are pretty similar to previous um, vaults that you have done. So just keep that in mind, but just know that they are level 100 traps. So you definitely want to be careful about doing these. Just try to steer clear. Now, there is multiple levels to this. I don't want anybody to, you know... Gosh, it's taking so long, you know? It's similar to the story. There is multiple levels to this. I don't even care about that. We're feeling really good. Oh, first room. It's kind of like a boss room in a way. I'm gonna try not to die. We gotta survive and kill everything, I think. Ow, I already took some shots. It's not good. I need all my points, man. Everybody gets stunned. All right, so the first one, one charge, one charge, and we get a keystone. So doing these, these starts off really, really easy. Again, in here, guys, just keep in mind that when you are popping these and you have your tuning stones or the, uh, what's the other stones, the governing stones, if you do have these at level 10, we talked about this in another video, you will get back, you will get back the shattered stones, okay? You will get those back when you pick these up. All right, I'm going to try to zoom in and make sure I, like, max level. So I got 179 Shattered Stones out of that. We got that back, which is really cool. Okay, so that's going to be a really strong way to farm other stuff. So we're going to the gateway. We're going to the next one. Okay, we're going to the next one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, remember, guys, just like the campaign, it's the same way. We're going to go ahead and place this. Now we got to go grab the pedestal, the pedestal, and the pedestal. So let's go snag all the juicy stuff up. I want to show you guys the fight. We may skip through some of this in the video, but 
When it comes to these rooms, guys, I typically just stand in a corner. Away from all the traps, you just kill the, the monsters as they spawn. You know, you just kind of do your thing. You got an immune, you got to teleport if you really need to get out. We get a nice little radiant chest. Very nice. Electrocution's almost ranked up. We come in here again, one and one. We get our brand new stone. Nice, gripping. Also keep in mind, guys, that this is definitely one huge way to be able to get, oop, grab our shadow stones, to get the uber unique stones, the uber unique governing stones. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge, everybody. Okay. If modern simina, simina, cinema has taught me anything, that's what I learned. Okay. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. It applies to all, spe all aspects of life. All right. Number three, one and one. Very nice. Grab all these tuning stones. Very good. Dude, why does everybody have suppression? Pez radar nerfed. Get this out of the game. I hate it. All right, we're doing okay. We got a really good cushion. Really good cushion. Really good cushion right now. Okay, final pedestal complete. We're gonna go in. We got 35 left. Let's kill all these punks. We're almost there to the boss. All right, so here we go, chat. This is the boss fight. Here we go, everybody in the video. Let's check it out. Must kill him. Shouldn't be too bad. Destroy. Make sure you, when his pillars pop up, make sure you destroy those. Every single time you can. Every single time you can. What's great about my build against him is going to be all the additional CC that we can do. Which is great. Look at him. He's CC'd out of his mind right now. We're just beating him down to a pulp. Must get rid of these. Get rid of those. As soon as you see the pillars, drop them. And then you're just going to rotate away from him, okay? Dodge the small traps on the ground. Easy. Watch out for the electrocution. Watch out for Stormbane. Get rid of this conduit. Super. Let's go. Okay, we need to get over there and destroy that thing. Yep. Yep, we're looking good. Oh my god, we're CCing him twice. We're CCing him twice. Stagger Wagger. Swagger Stagger. Alright. Okay. Echo of Malthus, Keeper of Vaults. Done, baby. Done and done. That's all you gotta do, guys. You just dodge everything. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Easy. Okay? It is a pretty, pretty nice fight. Alright? And I am all full up. What's in my inventory? Get this out of here. Give me that. Alright, guys. That's the, uh, that's the boss fight. We got plenty of wardings. Okay? We opened up a bunch of chests. All right, that is it for all of our juicy goodness here at the end. We didn't get anything extra. It's literally just what drops. Um, but yeah, um, for for reference, he does drop 925 item power gear. You will always get 925, so keep that in mind. Make sure you check out the gear pieces. We're going to come over here just to this corner. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, guys. Yeah. Um... Now we got to go up top to the arena. Go up top to the... You mean leave the dungeon? Let me check some stuff real quick. Hold on. I just want to... I want to check the gear. Okay. Alright. Okay. At the top... Don't forget to leave this stuff, guys. It's hidden. It's just blind. Don't forget to leave this stuff, okay? We have our ward woven chest, our regular one, and our major one. So going through all four of the zones, okay, you're going to get two chests on each one. Each one is going to cost one. So it's two, four, six, eight. That's eight of your wardings, okay? And then you got another 10, which puts you to 18. And then you have four, which puts you to 22. So you need a minimum of 22 wardings left 
after you finish the boss fight at tier 100. So I suggest just doing what I did. If you want to go to 40, 40 is probably more manageable. Um, but if you if you you know if you have enough wardings, you know like I do, you just have plenty of pearls. Just do it. Go to 50 just to be sure. Uh, 40 you could definitely do, but make sure you have a minimum of 22 left. So let's go ahead and open these and see what we get. Nice electrocution tactical. Okay, some more stuff. Let's open the big boy. See what we get. Nice, nice. Okay, so we got auto defense, firefly, devastation, uh, tuning stone, register damage, arcing, seeking, and a bunch of ancestral gear. So I'm going to check the wand, and then I'll let the other five just go back, I guess. Let's just do that. Grab this. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need this. Make sure we just grab all this stuff. Remember, this is all 925 gear. We just got a almost a way better juggernauts than what we were actually using, which is right here. Fantastic. Just super, super good. I still hate that we're getting sacred gear, but, uh, you know, kind of just is whatever right now. Pez radar, we need you to fix that. But, okay, guys, that is... That is... The, that, that's the fight. That's the dungeon, okay? That is the dungeon. Now, let's talk about one other thing my chat has pointed out. Is that after you spend your cores, okay? You cannot get warding after going past that, right? Like, as soon as you open the door and go in. So, when you're in the front of the dungeon. And you're here at your statue to get your wardings. Once you pop it and go in, you can't get any more. Okay? So, make sure... You take enough. I would say if you have issues dodging traps, take 50. Just spend five and you're done. Okay, 40 is fine if you're if you're just a a really good, you know, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodger. Uh, do 30 if you're a god gamer because you need 22 by the end. Okay? So, yeah, guys. That's the new fight. It's awesome. I hope this guide helps you. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, the rewards, just the, the trip in general, the boss fight as a whole. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.